Hello, welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new, I'm Megara, and I've got some makeup to play with. Mainly, the Annie Ligus Lingus, the Annie Lingus Barry M collaboration palette, it looks like this. And I thought I'm going to try and be a bit extra today because, well, I haven't been extra in a while. I've worn a lot of browns and neutrals and that kind of stuff to work recently, so I thought, let's have some fun. Let's be bright and colourful. So, I've already got, like, my base is already done. I'll link everything I've got my face down in the description. So I'm just going to kind of get started with this because what better way to get started on eyeshadow palette than start on my eyeshadow? So, first things first. I'm going to go in with this shade here called Tan. It's actually just in neutral brown and I'm just going to run that through my crease. I just like to build it up a bit just so then it's a bit more there, even though it's a bit of a transition shade. It's just the way I like to do it. So then I'm going to go in with Papaya, I think. Yep, Papaya, this one here. Picking up on my brush quite well. I'm just going to run that through and blend that up to really brighten it up. But I'm using the neutral shade just to kind of deepen that up a little bit, I think. Then I'm going to go with a bit of Lover, which is the one just underneath. I'm almost here, all I can think of is Write Me Lover. Sorry, I can't do a very good accent, despite the fact from despite the fact I am from the West Country. But that's all I think of when I see a Lover. And then I'm just rubbing, running this through my crease, just to deepen it up a little bit more. I really didn't need that brown in the first place, but oh well, at least I know that the neutrals pick up all right. Then I'm going to be very careful and take a little bit of this shade here called Coco. Which I'm just going to tap and then I'm going to keep that lower down to really add some depth into my crease. So all I'm doing is adding some more depth because why not? Also if you've got any makeup requests or looks you want me to do or things you want me to test out, let me know down in the description, down in the comments because I do actually look down there, you know? Or if you think my makeup's good, if you think it's atrocious. Again, just let me know because I do listen. Now I'm going to get a clean brush, or at least a hopefully clean brush. Then I'm going to go back in with a bit of papaya, that neon-y colour. I'm just going to run that around the outside and just really blend it out. And add a little bit more cocoa right in that crease to really deepen it up because this is a bit more of a finer brush. Well, smaller brush. I'm going to get a little bit of concealer dubious looking concealer brush if I can find it. I'm just going to cut my crease quickly. I'm going to use this mirror because it's going to be a lot easier to do it. I've got so many layers of concealer on my eyeballs right now. Like this, I just used the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Magic Concealer. I'm not a big fan of him at the moment, but I still got the concealer. I still need to get through it. So next I'm going to get a nice flat brush. And using a mixture of date, which is this ready purple, and wine, which is this deep purple, I'm going to tap that into the inner and outer corners. And then I'm going to use forest, which is this greeny colour, on my finger and just whack it right in the middle. I've now realised I didn't actually need to cut my crease, but... Good practice, really. I'm going to go with a bit of olive just to go around the edges of the green. And grab my fluffy brush again and go in with a bit of cocoa just to blend the two layers together and get rid of anything that I've monumentally cocked up, you know? And get a bit more of a combination of date and wine just to blend the shimmer and the not shimmer together. I'm going to go with a bit more of Forest just to really brighten up the middle. This is what I'm looking like now. I know it's a bit of a mess, but oh well. But I'm going to clean off that flat fluff, the flattish fluffy brush that I was using for the dark colours. And I'm going to use a bit of tan and cinnamon, which are these two browns here and run that along my lower lash line 
And then I'm going to use a bit of wine, which is the dark purple colour. And do I have a clean pencil brush in here? Nope, so I'm going to clean my pencil brush off. I'm going to go with this colour here called Silk, which is this nice white... I think it's white. I'm just put this on my inner corner and on my brow bone. Now I'm going to stick some liner, lashes, mascara, all of that stuff on and I'll be right back with you. This is what it's finished looking like. I didn't mean to put um, some eyeliner along my lower lash line, but there's a bit of a gloopy mascara incident where a gloop just clung to my lower lash line and I just couldn't get rid of it for the life of me. So I caved and did some proper lining my um, lower lash line, so that's why this is so dark. Haven't got any lashes on because that's what I did, I can't, I just can't be bothered. This is taking me long enough as it is. This is what we're looking like. I am quite digging the eyeshadow. It's not kind of my normal everyday kind of thing, but I do like it. Um, overall, palette, it's really nice. Um, I imagine you can get some quite a lot of nice looks out of it. There's neutrals. I'm not too sure about how the blues and these colours fit into it other than for doing looks like this, but I do like it. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed, and I'll see you for another video hopefully later in the week. Bye!